What is up everybody? Concrete Gamer here and today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do a top 10 PC games that I have played and uh, remember this is all my opinion and I can't stress that enough but you guys can check out the actual videos on my channel uh, and I hope you guys enjoy. So number 10. Uh, I'm going to put Outlast for this one simply because it is a great game so I wanted it on my list but I'm kind of a wuss when it comes to scary games. See this game what it is you're a reporter and you have to go into an asylum to figure out what is wrong with the asylum. A lot of people have been there not many have come back and a lot of people are scared to go in there. So you brave through everything just to get inside the asylum get a piece of information and get videotape recordings of the stuff that's going on there but you find something that you really didn't want to find so this is definitely a recommended game for anyone who wants to play something truly scary that will get your heart racing and probably keep you up at night my number nine would be grid autosport and the reason this comes at number nine is because it's a great game but it's very simple. It's a very simple racing game that uh, it don't have any any extreme controls that you have to learn or any real story mode to it. It's more of like a very simple Forza version. And I know I said simple a few times there because that's really what it is. It's a fantastic looking game. It looks great. Um, the physics are great, everything like that, but it is nothing more than what you would expect in a racing game. And I strongly recommend this one for people who simply just have a little bit of downtime and would like to get a couple races out there. And it works great with the gamepad. I would recommend using the gamepad for it since it is really easy to control on a gamepad. Like, it's a lot easier to control than using your keyboard since you slide around and you have all different kinds of settings that you can make and basically throughout this whole game all you're doing is trying to win your series and come in first place over your competitors now moving on to number eight euro truck simulator 2 this game is simply one of the most relaxing games i've ever played um there's moments in time where you have a situation that you have to overcome where you run off the road or something like that but other than that this game is you take deliveries and you deliver it to the person there is no other way of explaining it it is one of the best simulators if not the best simulator that has ever been released I love it it's a great game it's just there's many games that go above it so I had to keep it here at the number eight spot but it is definitely a recommended if you like simulators and maybe just love a relaxing drive in a big semi truck. We're at number 7 with Turbo Dismount. And really what is there to say about this game other than it's goofy. It is a goofy game and it's great. You have a set path that you hit dismount and you will go. And that's all you do. You you set up little obstacles for you to jump, and uh, you have downloadable maps. It has a full community of user-created maps, which is awesome. You can go and download those from the workshop. Simple and easy on the Steam Workshop, and it's so much fun to play. It really is. You know, you have a little guy that sits on your motorcycle, like you see in the video now, or you can drive a little Flappy Bird. You, you know, it, it, it's endless possibilities. But this is definitely a great game if. You you want something just to simply waste time so if you're down for doing nothing for a little bit and you just kind of want to relax and just have a little goofy game that you can play and laugh a little bit this is definitely the game I would go with coming in at number six is left for dead 2 and I know what you're thinking um why is it so high up on the list you know as far as not all the way up towards number one uh, that's simply because I haven't had the chance to play online with friends. Really, that's the main thing that 
kills this game for me I love this game it's a great game as you can see in the video now uh, I do love playing mods on it I like all the little maps that you can download and the stuff you can download from the workshop it's really awesome I have a great time in playing that but I wish I had some friends to play with and basically if you don't know which I don't know how you don't you've been living under a rock but Left 4 Dead 2 is a game in which you you kill zombies that's all you do you have main objective to get from one point to another without getting killed and it helps a lot if you have your friends because the AI really doesn't do much other than stand there and watch you get trampled but if you like zombie games this is a great classic to go with it's very fun and very it, it's simple it's the greatest zombie game there is in my opinion so I thought I'd put this at number six because I believe it belongs on the top ten list coming in at number five marking our halfway point is SWAT 4 this is basically a SWAT simulator uh, I guess that's what you could call it. It, it you run around as a SWAT person and you have to rescue the hostages and take out the bad guys or arrest them. It's better just to arrest them because you get extra points for it. You have different levels and a pretty thrilling campaign mode. This is a very old game. I believe it was made in like 2005. So it's a very early game. The graphics aren't fantastic, but they were definitely good in my opinion. They are nothing to be ashamed of. So I definitely give this one the number five spot without a doubt. And now we're gonna start moving up to some of my favorites. Number four, we have Banished, and this game is definitely one of my favorite survival sandbox building games, whatever you want to call it. It is fantastic. The graphics are great, and the greatest part about it is it's maybe like a 200 megabyte download. Can you believe these graphics come from a 200 megabyte download? I can't. It, it's a great game, and I love playing it. I'm not particularly good at it. I'm not going to lie to you guys because all my people die. But the object of this game is to keep all your villagers alive. What you got to do is you got to um, plan out every move, basically. You got to make sure you have enough food. You have to make sure you have enough materials. If you overwork your people gathering materials, then they eat more food. And when they eat more food, you run out of food. It tells you when you run out of food and the only problem that I actually have with this game which I mentioned in the video that I did of it was the fact that it rains every like 15 seconds it has different speeds you can set up different buildings you can build and basically an infinite expanding world uh, I wouldn't say it was completely infinite because it does stop but it is large and it's impossible to fill up the whole entire world with your villages so if you guys want to take the challenge this is definitely a game to look into coming in at number three is beam ng and what can i say about this game other than the fact that it's it's amazing uh i've said that about a lot of games on this list and that's because a lot of them have potential to be fantastic and this is one of those games this is an alpha slash beta version of the game and it's going to be great. I can already tell that the more they update it and the more they put into this game, it's just going to get better and better and better. It has infinite possibilities that I couldn't even imagine seeing this game going into. The damage, the damage engine is fantastic. It is it's one of the greatest I've seen. It's very realistic. Your car shuts down when you wreck, but right now, it is simply an exploring game where you can download lots of cars and put them into your map, change a couple maps around, look through them, and drive around and just see what you can get into. And now we're here with number two, Toy Box Turbos. And let me tell you, the only reason that this is number two is because there's only one game that I've played that I put over all the others. And some of you may have been looking for it in this top ten, and you'll see what it is next. But first, let's talk about Toy Box Turbos. This game is great. Um, I've said that, like, I, I mean, I say that all these games are great, but that's because they really are. I mean, like, all, all these games that I've played this year, this has been a really great year for games. And Toybox Turbo just tops my list as some of the greatest of all time video games. This game is essentially a Mario Kart mixed with, uh, Micro Machines, I think it was called back in the day. 
Um, which I don't really know back in the day, to be honest. I'm not old enough for that. I'm just 18, you know. But I do remember games like this, say, on like PS1 and stuff. But it wasn't as pretty. They didn't have the types of graphics and stuff like that they have now and I mean this game as you can see right now you can customize your little cars you got moon rovers you got four by fours you got dump trucks you got monster trucks you got bulldozers it's great and I mean all the cars it's like they have a personality to them basically this game is just an objective based kind of or like not really objective based but more of score based game and the greatest part about it is the score that you get is coins and the coins are not microtransactions which means you don't have to buy them and that's the greatest part about this game is you don't have to pay to win and I love that more than anything about this game this game can get very challenging at times as you can see in this next clip I'm gonna completely fail at this but it, it's it's a great game it keeps you interested and there's tons and tons and tons of levels and different things you can do but other than that let's move on to number one in the countdown are you guys ready and number one is call of duty no i'm just kidding minecraft this game is giving me so many hours and hours upon hours of fun with all my friends i get online on a server and just have a great time this game has been updated constantly and this this game is just so fun i don't know what it is about it i don't know if it's the fact that it's simple but complex i don't know if it's the fact that they update constantly and everything's new or the fact that the graphics are so simple that they're great I have no idea what it is about this game but you guys have to know what Minecraft is but for those who don't um, it, it's an adventure game where you build and you craft and you just try to survive and I've had so much fun with this game and it's definitely my top favorite and probably will always be my favorite video game of all time to have on the PC. If you haven't played Minecraft, this is a must play game. It's like $26. I know that sounds expensive, but I mean, it, there there's not even a price you can put on the fun that you can have with this game and the creativity that can come out of you and the things you can build and the endless possibilities of stuff but anyway guys thank you so much for watching my top 10 video this has been my first one i've ever made i thought i'd make one just to you know <clears throat> summer up summarize the channel and all the videos i've done and everything that i like so you guys can kind of get a grip on uh, the types of games i like but thank you guys if you haven't already uh subscribe leave a like and a comment it really means a lot to me more than you can ever imagine but anyway guys keep keep a lookout for the next video uh one will be up in a few days not sure what game it'll be i might find a new one but anyway guys it's been concrete gamer peace out